Okay, so we're gonna put our first bracket uh, two feet off of the wall. We've centered it up uh, in our header. Uh, I'm gonna put my level on it, make sure it's level. And then I'm gonna mark the four holes. And then I'll take the bracket down, drill my holes, and then we'll lag the bracket into the header. Now I'm gonna use a ratchet to lag all the screws in. Okay, so this is our dead end of the uh, net. This is where the net will be stored. Take your uh, cables, you loop it through, and we're gonna put two cable clamps on and tighten them down. We pulled about a foot, foot and a half of cable because uh, we've got three extra feet. And we'll put the second cable clamp on and then tighten them down. Make sure you extend your turnbuckle all the way out so there's no screws in the middle so that when you go to tighten it, it will take all the slack out of the cables. So we've attached it to the bracket. You got to make sure that you get all the slack out of the cable here before you clamp it so that you have enough room on the turnbuckle to get the rest of the slack out. So we have put the cable through the turnbuckle. If you've got wheels, leave all the wheels down here to keep the weight off of the cable. It makes it easier to tighten. It takes two people, but we'll take the cable and bring it through, put two clamps on it and then we'll show you tightening down the uh, turnbuckle. We've now looped it, taken out the slack, and are attaching the second cable clamp. Got the turnbuckle all the way out with a decent amount of slack pulled out of the line. And then we take a grinder and we cut off the rest of the uh, cable and they recommend taping the end of the cable. All right, so now that we've got both clamps on to hold the cables tight, uh, you can take an adjustable wrench and hook it to the turnbuckle. Holding this end tight, you start turning the turnbuckle and take all the slack out of the cable. We pulled ours pretty tight to where both of these bolts are about touching each other. And that took all the slack out of our cable. As you can see, these two lines are done and they are tight all the way across the building. We've got our assistants here helping us. We're hanging the first corners. And then we'll move down and clip each roller on. We've now got each corner hooked over here. We're working on getting each corner hooked here. We are now hanging each roller from the cable every two feet for a 55 foot cage. So here's the finished product. The process is really pretty easy to hang the cage. It does take a couple people. Our application here in a, in a large building was pretty nice to be able to lay it all out and hang it, but uh, very, very pleased with the product and the, and the final fit and finish of everything.